Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Aaron. This is Czar Finance, episode 18, bonds. Now on today's episode, I'm going to talk to you what a bond is and how it's broken down and so that way you can understand the fundamentals of when someone asks you what a bond is. So what is a bond? A bond basically is when an entity is asking for money from the general public, if you will, for, for money that they want to invest in to make their products better. Now it's usually large sums of money that they can't get from the bank and in turn they end up turning to the general public to see if hey can you you want to invest in me for this product and they're going to you know make these things larger and greater so what they do is they offer an IOU to you for the monies that you loan them and in turn they say if i want to give you let's say i'm going to give this company a thousand dollars and in turn they'll say well i'll pay you eight percent if i can hold on to that thousand dollars for a year and whether you agree to it or not that's your decision, but if you agree to it, they're going to give you a piece of paper that's an IOU or a bond certificate in turn for the thousand dollars that you've given them. Okay, so that's how the bond works. It's money that I'm loaning to them, and they give me a certificate saying that they owe me the money back. And when you agree to the terms of their conditions that they preset as a percentage rate and a, a set date or the yield amount date when it expires. Um, that's when the money is going to be collected and then they are supposed to give the money back to you. Now bonds are a little bit less riskier than say the stock market or uh, stock, stocks itself because they are more secure. You're funding the company or the backbone of the company and letting them operate and do their thing and um, they're going to be giving you a percentage and an agreement that they owe you the money first before the money gets divvied up to anywhere else. If the company decides to go bankrupt for example what they do is they will pay the bondholders first before they pay the shareholders second okay but being a bondholder basically means that you have no rights or you know regulations to voting rights or things like that you're not a, you're not owning the company you're lending money to them to do their do their business but whereas a shareholder or stocks of a company those folks who own that they actually own part of the company and they decide what they want to do with the money and the funds and also um they have voting rights, if you will, of where the company, what direction they should go. So you're just a lender, and what you're doing is hoping at the end of the day, whenever they make money, uh, that they pay your money, you know, they pay you your interest, and as uh, well as the maturity date when it expires. So if the company does really successful, you're not going to capitalize on that because you're not a shareholder. You're just a lender. You're lending them money. You're not going to gain any more interest than whatever you agree to on that bond certificate. Now there's a thing called high yield risk uh, bonds and low risk yield bonds. I would highly advise you to stay away from those because those are very flexible and they, they're companies that are high risk and they're asking for a larger interest rate for either a short amount of time or a long amount of time and those maturity dates aren't likely to happen. They might fold or they might go bust and, and those are not really advisable to you. So you want to stick between three and five years as far as uh, three, five, and maybe ten years as far as uh, buying a bond certificate because, you know, failure to pull out, if you say you want your money within those three years or those ten years, you will get hit with a, a, a fee for removing that amount of money when the company has not, you know, maybe had the profits or etc. You're going to be hit with a fee for the, for pulling out your money uh, prior to. Now, um, the types of bonds that are out there, there are government bonds, there's municipal bonds, and then there's also corporate bonds. Government bonds are very popular because of the fact that they're very stable. They're very large entities. They're huge government United States bonds, right? So when you have a government bond, they're building tanks, aircraft, submarines, all these sort of things, you know, working with the environment, all these type of things. So they have a lot of money and liquid assets that are moving around, and they most likely have the funds to pay you back in a certain amount of time. So when you buy a government bond, it's very secure. Um, given that the whole economy doesn't collapse or the government doesn't go crashing down, but that's why they're very common and they're very uh, secure and most likely everyone invests in a government type of bond. The next type of bond that is out there is the municipal bond, and those are more for local, state, and run government organizations. So your local sewer system, your, your local senate state, uh, those type of bonds are out there, and it's more local. It's just the municipalities that run your facilities, the roads, the you know, the things like that. Um, and the next one is obviously corporate bonds and corporate bonds are companies that are out there looking for money. So corporate bonds are a little bit more riskier, but they uh, are out there. You know, if you want to invest in, say, you know, a Nike corporate bond, 
Um, maybe Nike is going to be coming out with a new shoe type that they are looking to expand uh, and they need some more equipment to do this experiment and they're looking for a large amount of money and they're asking the general public to invest in and uh, you know, try this experiment, etc. And you can invest in that type of corporation for that example, for that bond. And then, so in a nutshell, what a bond basically is, is you lending money, you get an interest rate on it, and a mature date that you agree upon, and in return, when that mature date arrives, you're gonna get paid interest, usually semi-annually, which is twice a year. So if it's, as an example, if I have $1,000, I put it and I give it to a company X, uh, for eight percent, and at the end of that year, I will it should expect um, forty dollars twice per year. So every six months, forty dollars is going to come in, and another forty, which is semi-annually. And at the end of the yield date for that year, I will get one thousand eighty dollars for my total amount of money that I've invested in the company. So that's what basically a bond consists of. And on next week's episode, we're going to talk about retirement and some retirement strategies. Retirement strategies that you should be investing in. And uh, so that way, someday you can retire a multimillionaire. Best of luck to you guys. My name is Aaron. This is Czar Finance. Take care.